Hi guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a one month postpartum kind of video and kind of talk about how that's going and also show you guys Arabella because she is one month. She turned one month yesterday on the 20th, which is really, really cool. She is sleeping right now. Um, sometimes during the day she just doesn't want to be put down so I have to carry her everywhere <laughs> with me which I love so it's fine okay so in today's video I'm gonna be talking about basically what I use for postpartum what I feel everyone should have that's actually worth getting I'm gonna explain to you guys week by week how I was feeling I know what I went through my first week of postpartum like throughout the weeks don't forget to follow me on all my social media everything will be in the down box below so yeah let's just get on with the video some of the products i recommend if you are having a baby that you will need for postpartum is first thing i would say is the always discreet diapers for women when i came home from the hospital they gave me these like mesh they're like mesh boy shorts and basically pads and Obviously, you just had a baby. That's not going to work. But these diapers that I got, amazing. They held everything in. I felt like I wasn't even wearing anything. And it was just really convenient at night. So 10 out of 10 would recommend those. I also got the Freedom Mom Perry bottle. It's like the bottle that you use to like squeeze whenever you go to the bathroom. 10 out of 10 definitely would recommend that. The hospital gave me one that didn't have the little spout curve. So that was really hard to use. Um, thank God I didn't have to use that. Yes, that is definitely something I do recommend because you're going to need that for like the first two weeks of going to the bathroom. Next thing is ice packs. A lot of people make their own. I know you can do pads with witch hazel. I think I'm allergic to witch hazel because I tried witch hazel and it didn't really work for me. It was like really painful. So I... Don't recommend that. But ice packs are amazing. I took a lot home from the hospital. Um, I still have a lot left too. I also used my heating pad a lot. I would switch off from heating pad to ice pack, heating pad to ice pack. The heating pad was more for like my lower back, kind of like butt area. Um, and then the ice pack I put between my legs just to like help me. I also got the Derma Spray, which is a spray for itching, pain, and I forgot some, it's like itching, pain, and cuts, I think. And what I would do is I'd spray it in the diaper and then put the diaper on, and it felt amazing because it was really cold too. And yeah, the only bad thing about that is you get diaper rash pretty bad if you put too much on, so be careful with that. And then finally, pads. Uh, my last week i want to say week three i switched over to pads which helped me a lot i also got the victoria's secret period underwear that helped a lot too i felt like really normal like week three because i didn't need the diaper it wasn't that bad for me i mean everyone's different but i feel like the period underwear made me feel very 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 normal um and i'd probably get more if i ever do have another kid so those are all of the products i 100 percent recommend i also recommend getting one of those wraps for your stomach um, just to kind of like suck you in and hold you in i wore that maybe my first week and a little bit of my second week and then i was kind of over it but it made me feel very like tight and secure and like my stomach wasn't like popping all over the place i do have pictures of like what my stomach looked like throughout the week um and i'll insert them right here okay yeah so my first week things i did was i tried to go on a walk three days postpartum i felt like it was okay to do i mean i didn't get like any clearance or anything and when i told my doctor i went on a walk three days after he was like you're kind of crazy but if you feel fine go for it so i did that it was really nice to get fresh air me sam tank and arabella went on the walk and we didn't really go far because i was so sore but i knew i like needed to move my feet a little bit so i did that the first week i drank lots of water 
they tell you to stay hydrated because obviously when you're in the hospital you have IV and you don't really think about it. So I had so much water by my bedside at night during the day. Then I noticed my boobs were really leaking really badly and I'm not breastfeeding so I had no idea what to do. I had no idea what to do and then I went on Google and I looked up how to stop your boobs from leaking and they said cabbage leaves. So I literally wear a really tight sports bra and put the cabbage leaves inside the bra and then switch them every like four hours. That I felt helped a little bit but not really because obviously your boobs need leaked for them to go back down. So would I recommend that? Probably not but it was fun to do. I also took showers two times a day because I just felt like I needed to. I would take one in the morning and then one at night. I still do. Um, but before I would do it just because I felt kind of gross from the day. It's literally like you're on your period almost and you just feel gross. You just want to shower. I had a lot of spit up on me from her. So I don't know. I showered two times a day and I still do. And I was also on Tylenol every four hours and then I would try to cut back by the end of the week. I'd be like one Tylenol in the morning, one Tylenol in the afternoon, one maybe at night if I really needed it, but that was only if I was sore. I'm not the type of person that like takes a lot of medicine whenever I need it. I try to get over it, like let it pass. I also wore my waist trainer. Like I said, I do recommend getting one. Mine's like a three in one. I don't know. I think I got it off of Amazon. I can leave a link down below of where I got mine. But yeah, I wore that just trying to feel more secure. And then I also started tracking her feeding and her going to the bathroom. Obviously, the doctors want you to do that to make sure you're on time on when she's eating and also how much she's pooping and stuff. Um, I do have the app right here. It's the Nara Baby, I think. Let me see. Yeah, Nara Baby. And it just has basically a tracking for food. And when she went to the bathroom last, you can also do her naps. There's like a lot you can do. And what I really like about this app is your husband, boyfriend, fiance, whatever. Anyone can track when they're when she's going to the bathroom or when she's feeding. So let's just say you go out and you leave her with your parents um, or like a caregiver, they can track when she ate last, when she pooped last, so you know, um, or when she's taking a nap, which I really like. And then it also tells you how much she's growing. You put it in whenever you go to the doctors. I really, really like that app. So how I felt the first week, I feel like everyone feels completely different just because everyone's birth is so unique. But this is how I felt the first week coming home from the hospital and kind of trying to get back to normal. Um, I felt everything was like extremely hard to do. I remember coming home from the hospital and trying to shower and dropping one of the shampoo cleanser things on the floor. And obviously if you have stitches, it's very hard to bend down plus you're sore. So I like freaked out. I started crying because I like, I'm so used to doing stuff by myself kind of. Not by myself because I get a lot of help, but I'm so used to doing like simple things by myself and to not even be able to do that. It was just it's like, oh my gosh, I hope this does not last forever. But I was very, very sore. I found it really hard to do normal things. Um, like I said, like taking showers, getting into bed, going to the bathroom. On top of all that, taking care of a newborn. It's just a lot. Thank God Sam helped like a lot because I don't know how like single moms do this or single dads do this with no help. I could not even imagine. Um, I was very emotional the first week. I cried about everything. I still cry a lot. I think that's really normal just to cry it all out. We live in a three-story house and our floor is like sleep is like on the first floor and then the kitchen's on the second floor. So trying to go up there, the stairs, was so hard. Um, if possible, if you do live in a house like that, try and move everything downstairs. Like we have our formula maker downstairs, we have our sterilizer downstairs, and that has helped so much. And then my boobs were leaking, which was really, really bad and really, really annoying. Um, that's another reason why I was showering twice a day. I'd try to shower in the morning and then at night just because I felt so 
gross. Okay, so the second week. So the second week, things I did was I tried to relax more. I stayed in bed a little bit more. Um, just trying to let my body recover from the week prior to that. I was still taking two showers a day. I was still drinking lots of water. Um, I tried to do small little walks, even if it was like to the mailbox, to the car, to like anywhere. And then I also started taking B12. Um, I used to take B12 before I was pregnant and during pregnancy. And I did not know B12 helps with your boobs leaky. And if you're someone like me who's not breastfeeding and just don't want leaky boobs, start taking the B12 early. I swear by it. I'm pretty sure that's what helped me stop my leaky boobs. Um, I felt a lot happier. Um, I was still not sleeping as much because I was, her schedule was really weird. She hated the bassinet. I did not know what to do. Obviously, I did not want her sleeping with us. Um, and then I was like, she's going in her big girl crib. Oh, Mimi, is you okay? Yeah, so we just put her in her crib and she fell asleep. Thank God we have a baby monitor. So I remember thinking week two, it was so hard trying to figure out her cues. I guess babies have five cues. One's like if they're hungry, one's if they're sad, one's if they're like uncomfortable, tired. There's like a lot. So I was so unable to learn her cues and still like it's difficult for me. It helps to know when she's hungry, when she has a poopy diaper, all of that. And then I was still trying to get back to normal, which was also really hard for me to understand that, like, you don't need to rush into getting back to normal anytime soon. Like, this is your new normal, so, like, get prepared. So now, week three, I got her kind of on a schedule, and we kind of figured out what her schedule was like on feeding on what time she should nap and kind of all of that so i could gauge my day around her um i was trying to bring her way more outside even if it was just sitting on the balcony or going on walks or even like going to get smoothies like you guys saw in that one video um we would just we were trying to get her more outside because obviously fresh air is the best but we obviously but we also didn't want her being around people at all. Um, we started taking her to places. Um, I started showering once a day. And then I went back to two times a day. Um, and then I tried to do Tylenol once a day. And then from there, I would just stop taking Tylenol towards the end of the week. Because I didn't feel like I really needed it. Um, I tried making more time for myself, even if it was just like face moisturizing, filming and editing a video. Thank God Sam helped me a lot and my mom helped me a lot. Um, and I just felt the need to clean up a lot too. The nursery, our room, upstairs needed to clean. And how I thought I felt really happy. Um, I got a little more sleep and then understanding our new schedule, which was really hard. Um, like I said in the beginning, but now I really, really understand it. Well, now that I'm one month postpartum, I really, really understand our schedule. I know what she likes, what she doesn't like, what she wants, what she doesn't want. And a lot of time, what she wants is just me, just to hold her like I am now. I'm literally wearing a wrap. She hates to be by herself, and she hates to fall asleep in her crib alone. So what we have to do is get her in her car seat to make her fall asleep because she loves her car seat. And then from there we take her and put her in the crib. She loves her show, Hey Bear. If you guys never heard of Hey Bear, it's great for their eyes, I guess. It's like sensory images, but it's on YouTube. And she absolutely loves it. It's like one of the things that doesn't make her cry. I love staying home with her every single day and doing stuff with her even if it's like tummy time or doing stuff like this I just I love it she's starting to be way more sassy she was already sassy but like she's way more sassy now like I said her favorite her favorite show is hey bear she's obsessed with my mom my mom can make her fall asleep my mom can make her stop crying it is the craziest thing ever she currently drinks four ounces which i think that's like a lot but she's not really throwing up 
at all, which is good. Um, I think she's turning into a mommy's girl for sure, but I think that's just because like I'm around her way more. Sam works. I think that could be another factor on being a mommy's girl. I mean, I don't mind it, but yeah, she's definitely a mommy's girl. But yeah, I like absolutely love having her around me, on me, smelling her breath that smells gross. And she loves compliments. I think that's so funny. Like she'll literally be crying her head off and then someone will give her a compliment like oh my gosh you're so pretty or like that's the cutest baby ever and she stops crying which i think is so funny but yeah i love 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 being a mom just like watching her grow and i cannot believe it's one month like i cannot believe this i she's been here for like a month anyways guys that is it for today's video what you don't want to stop the video that is it for today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next week and don't forget to comment down below um how you're doing with your newborn if you do have a baby let me know how that's going thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys bye.